mengumumkan ketibaan yang amat berhormat Perdana Menteri Interim Tuan Dr. Mahathir bin Mohamad. Saya ya saya saya diminta supaya kembali jadi pengerusi satu tiga hari dahulu. Saya minta tangguh supaya saya fikir jadi pada hari ini saya uh, bersetuju untuk kembali sebagai pengerusi Parti Bersatu. Well, I have to sit down with Bersatu first to find out what is their feeling. So, so, so your meeting for the day is Well, uh, there are various uh, possibilities that we discuss, uh, including, of course, the possibility that uh, uh, Muhyiddin might become a candidate. If if everybody chooses him, I'm okay. Huh? As a PM, yeah. If uh, he wins, if he goes to parliament and he is given full majority, then he has a right to become uh, the prospective prime minister and the Agung can appoint him, he can be sworn in and then of course he can form his cabinet. Huh? Well, we haven't decided on that. Of course, I think uh, my my opposition is, of course, uh, I will not accept uh, Amnu as a component party, but I will accept members uh, who join, not identified with Amnu. I will accept them, but uh, Tan Sri Mohidin is uh, a little bit more relaxed on that. He is quite prepared to accept them as a uh, uh, block. I will not be the Prime Minister if I, I am not uh, named as a candidate. So whoever wins, I will, I will accept. The appointment of the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. Now, if it is a unity cabinet, the members may come from the parties, but they become individuals. They are not looked upon as representative of their party.